Right, we're here in uh, Winner Winner uh, uh, by the river in York on King's Stave. This is Michael Shepherd. Hello, Michael. You're the Hiya. joint owner of Winner Winner. Um, it's been a bit of a difficult 24 hours for you because a media outlet has published a photo of the restaurant together with uh, the suggestion that your hygiene rating is one of the lowest in the city. What kind of effect has this had on you? Oh, it's, I mean, we, just in the past 24 hours, we've had two bookings cancel for the weekend, large bookings as well, which is the kind of things that we depend on to get through uh, this time of year. We've had such a difficult time after the floods been open on and off since November and been completely wiped out on Boxing Day to then get back on our feet and start get rolling again and start getting our regular clientele established. To have something like this come out suggesting that we would have a zero to one food hygiene rating when we actually pride ourselves on a fantastic food hygiene rating at what I assume from that article we must have one of the highest in York. And what, we, what is your rating then? We have a four out of five rating and we're very proud of it. We keep all of our paperwork up to date and are meticulous in our kitchen. So have people been ringing you up and cancelling because they think you've got a low one? Yeah, well, that's all I can put it down to. As soon as the article came out, I had uh, two of the bookings for the weekend straight away ring up and cancel. And I mean, that's very, very rare for us. You know, people book in and we see them at the times. So what you're trying to do then at the moment is let everybody know that that was a mistake, uh, yes. a genuine mistake, but it, it does not reflect on your business. Uh, and, and in particular for you down here on King State, it's been an even harder floods, hasn't it? Because you access to this building has been closed on and off since probably back in November. Hasn't it? Yeah, so we were November to Boxing Day when the really bad flood happened. We were open for two weeks due to the floods and there was nothing we could do about that. And then on Boxing Day, we were completely and totally wiped out which had us closed till midway till February and we just had to scrub, clean and work ourselves because we're only a small business owned by me and my mother and a handful of staff who just work to get back open. Even now we're still waiting on insurance to actually pay out. And if I just have a little spin round here, uh, the water actually came up over the bar, didn't it? Yes, yeah. so it pretty much wiped out anything wooden in the entire building had to be replaced because the wood absorbs the water so it was a, a costly thing to put right and as I said the insurance we're still waiting on the insurance to pay out so it had to be done out of our own pockets and luckily the kindness of a lot of people in York who put forward to help us just to get us back open because we're not a large business that can stay closed because we've got other venues it's when we're not open here we're not making any money so it's, it was a killer, really.